Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my Competitive Edge Custom Original Double Thick Extra Long Nail Forms, my Clean It, my Extra Adhesion Nail Liquid, my Deep Well Ceramic Dap and Dish, my Covered Up Peach Nail Powder, my Abstract Summer Collection in Cosmo Crush, Fresh and Fruity and New Flame, my Flawless Base, my Flawless Finish, my Bold Striper Art Brush, my 3D Art Brush, my Large Flat Kalinske Red Sable Brush, and my Towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my Crystal Spray Decanter, available in Peach, Gardenia, Vanilla Sandalwood, and Fragrance Free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared. Now I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. And I always make sure my primer's in a primer holder so I don't spill, and a little towelette so I can dab off my brush. I don't want to oversaturate the nail bed. This little bottle will prime a thousand nails. And then I wipe off my brush before I place it back into my bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. Now I'm going to apply my nail form, and this is going to be a coffin shape. So I'm going to split my form. I'm going to stick together my wings first so I can make it more tapered towards the tip. Then I place the curve of the form under the free edge, stick down the sides, and secure the form. My first coat of primer dried. This killed the germs on the nail and dried out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer right before I apply my acrylic. Wet primer and wet acrylic promotes adhesion and helps eliminate lifting. This is going to be an extra long coffin, so I will be using two free edge balls. I dip my brush all the way into the metal, wipe away from me, only wiping off a little bit of liquid so I can get a large ball, drag across my powder, get a nice large ball, place this ball halfway down the nail form, one, two, three, and pat it out, bring it up, bring up the sides, start getting the shape that I want, stroke it out, to thin out that tip. Once I get the shape just how I like it, clean up the tip. Wipe off your brush. Dip my brush in. Again, just wipe off a little bit of liquid. Get a large ball. Place this ball, slightly overlapping the free edge. Let it flow. One, two, three. Bring it up. Bring it up. And stroke it out to blend it in with the first free edge ball. Get it nice and blended. Wipe off your brush. My next ball is going to be a small ball. Dip my brush in. Wipe away more liquid and pick up less powder. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. One, two, three. Stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Another small ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Less liquid. Less powder. Place this ball one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. One, two, three. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Now my fourth ball, this is my stress ball. Also, this ball is really good if you have a little area. Maybe it's a little low. You can make sure you push a little bit more into that area, which is right in there. This is going to be a small to medium ball, and I'm going to be using it wet so it flows really easy. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away just a little bit because I want a lot of liquid, but I'm going to pick up just a little bit of powder. That way I have a nice wet ball. I'm going to place this almost at the cuticle, release the liquid, and then stroke it out. And I'm going to fill in this little spot right over here. I love that fourth ball. Wipe off your brush. As the nail is starting to dry, I'm going to squeeze my C-curve starting down at the nail bed. 
applying pressure out towards the tip. This makes the nail nice and tapered and really strong. Now I'm going to remove the nail form. I squeeze together the tip, bend it down, and remove the form. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long lasting zebra file and this has a special zinc oxide coating on it that makes it really easy to file as it glides over the nail. And I will be using my disposable clean finish buffing file and this is made out of material. It's not made out of paper so it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. And this can be used dry or it can be used with oil. And they're very easy to put onto the board. Just peel off the back, hold your board, place the strip onto your board and press it down. Peel it off, hold your board, and just stick it on and you're ready. I'm going to score the edge of my zebra file before I start filing using my buffer. This way when I file around the cuticle area, it's nice and smooth and it doesn't cut the cuticle. Now I'm going to file my nail in five steps and my first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left. Holding the finger securely, file straight out. Step number two, straight out from the nail groove on the right. Holding the finger and the nail securely, file straight out. Step number three is the tip of the free edge. This is going to be a square, so I hold the finger and the nail securely. I hold the file straight up and down and go straight across. I have a square. My fourth step in filing is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Again, holding the finger securely, file in long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. There's a little road where you have product, natural nail cuticle. You place your file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. If your product is too close to the cuticle or on the cuticle, it's going to lift. So you need to make sure you always have that little road to help prevent lifting. Again, nice long strokes. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side in a horseshoe pattern. I don't want to just go straight like this because it'll make the nail flat. So you always go down on the side across the top and down on the other side. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle. This is the angle they're going to be looking at for the next two weeks and you want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. And bevel down towards the tip. Get it nice and smooth, nice and even. And you get it just how you like it. Nice and even. And you'll know that it's even when there's no shiny spots or high-low spots. Now I'm going to buff my nail using my clean finish buffer. Holding the finger securely. I buff the nail in nice long strokes. Down on the side. Cross the top. Down on the other side around the cuticle area, get it nice and smooth. Out towards the tip. Again, always holding that finger and that nail securely. You don't want it to wobble. Remove the sharp edges. Have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Now I'm going to apply flawless base. Wipe away from me. Wipe off a little bit towards me so I don't get too much on my brush. Place about 30 second of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle area without touching. And then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Very lightly cap the tip. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV.
Now I'm going to pour a little bit of Clean It in my glass dish to keep my brush clean. I will be starting with New Flame, a violet magenta. Wipe away from me, lightly towards me. Place 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. And go push towards the cuticle without touching. And go all the way around your cuticle area. And stroke it all the way to the end. Make sure you get enough on there. Now I'm going to use my Clean It and my 3D brush to cut out my design. And I don't want my brush to be wet. So I'll bring it to a point. And just go around the edge and cut it out. Just how you like it. And just clean it up with your Clean It. And then after you've cleaned it up with your Clean It, cure 30 seconds for a half cure. My next color is Cosmo Crush, a bright salmon. Wipe away from me, slightly towards me. Place my brush. Give a good amount. I'm going to follow my design. There we go. Now I'm going to clean it. I'm going to cut out my design. I don't like to use a wet brush because it makes my line get a little bit fuzzy. There we go. If I want to get in this little thin line right here to clean, I'm going to use my bold striper. Right in here. There we go. Do a 30 second half cure. Now I'm going to use Fresh and Fruity, a Clementine Orange. Wipe away from me, slightly towards me. Again, following my line. There we go. Using my bold striper brush, I'm going to clean out the space between my colors. Again, I don't like to use it wet. I just want to make sure it's clean and to the point. And then just clean it out a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to do a full cure, one minute in LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply Flawless Finish, my super high gloss top gel, especially for gel polish. Wipe away from me, slightly towards me. Place one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. And nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Very lightly cap the tip. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to clean off my nail with Clean It and a towelette. Now I'm going to apply my all natural cuticle oil available in peach, gardenia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is so good for the cuticles and the nail. It helps eliminate hangnails and it helps the natural nail grow out healthy. And it feels good. And it smells really good. Now we have the Abstract Summer Collection on a long coffin acrylic. And it's so easy to clean up. Just peel off your file strip. Disinfect your plastic boards. Fold up your towel and throw everything away. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.